Hi, my name is Norez and I'm going to show you what is NIS. NIS is a network computer hardware inventory software that lets you perform inventory over the network. So you don't have to install any software on the client machine. All you have to do is just push the power button and rest of the work is done by the NIS server. So NIS server pulls all the information of all the components installed in the system and prints a, a, a barcode label automatically and stores all the information in a central database server. So the next part is the installation. The question arises how we install the software. So in order to install the software, you have to um, have minimum system requirements. So the minimum system requirements are uh, you should have at least a 2 gigahertz processor, uh, 1 gigabit RAM, and there should be a CD-ROM, DVD drive, 40 gig hard drive, keyboard, display monitor, and you should also have a network card, um, the gigabit and management network switch, and a ZPL thermal label printer, and a uh, uh, the console laptop for the management, so you can access the GUI and perform uh, reporting using this laptop. So the next section is download and install NIS software on a server. So in order to do that, you have to download the latest version from SourceForge website. So go to SourceForge website and download the latest iOS file. So once you have downloaded the file, burn the downloaded ISO image to a CD or DVD blank disk. Boot your server from the DVD disk and when prompted, please type nuke to begin installation. Uh, follow the on-screen instructions and then reboot your system once completed. So how do we start the actual inventory? So in order to begin with the inventory, you go to um, at the web page, the GUI interface and click start inventory. Make sure you fill all the information and uh, not, no columns are left out. So all the information is filled, choose the appropriate options, and click save to proceed with the inventory. So the next is, uh, how do you connect everything up together? Because there are so many components involved, such as you have a server, thermal label printer, network switch, and lots of inventory items. Connect them together using the diagram. Okay, you can see uh, we have a ZPL printer and that's already powered up and all connected to the NIS server. And it has the correct uh, role, the label role installed, the self adhesive stickers. And then we have a, a switch, a network switch uh, that's also connected. And there's a server here. Uh, we call it NIS, Network Inventory Server. That's already installed and powered up. Uh, you can uh, follow the instructions on uh, wiki how to install it then we have this inventory item which is a laptop that's already connected through a network cable then we have another inventory item uh, called optiplex gx520 and this is also connected via the network cable and another inventory item optiplex 755 so, and this is my um, management console, management laptop uh, to manage the inventory. And this is where I'm accessing the graphical user interface. So that's how um, it looks like. So in order to uh, begin installation, click on start inventory. I just clicked on it and I'm just gonna fill in all the information. You can type your information here um, then we have customer ID, batch number, and you know origin. You can say you know where exactly these systems came from, so that will be the origin. So in this case, I'm going to type NHS London. So this came from National Health Trust from London. So maybe this is a customer. So um, then you can type the other information. Um, so I'm just going to type anything like random stuff. And going down, we have, um, <clears throat> do we want to print the labels, true or false? If it's true, the label will be printed. If it's false, the label won't be printed. Then you can select the label size 
in this case we have 76 by 25 mm already installed in the printer so that's the cartridge we have so uh, i'm going to choose that one and going down we can select the grade so we have many grades here uh, since we already know the condition of the system so we know they are pretty good so we're going to choose uh, a grade and click save so i've selected a and clicked save and there's another box appeared it's telling me that it's a success message close this and now we are ready to do the physical inventory so in order to do the physical inventory i have this laptop here that's only connected through uh, the network cable there's no software inside here there's no operating system installed so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to boot this one and the other two systems uh, the dell systems that i have here so these you see the top two monitors these top two monitors are connected to uh, these two um, inventory items so turning on the first one and switching on the second one as you can see they're coming on one by one and going back to the laptop i'm going to switch it on and i'm going to keep pressing f12 key so i can see the boot menu and once I see the boot menu, I will choose PCI network card, the Pixie boot. So it boots automatically from the network through the NIS server. So there you go. I've selected PCI network card and it's booting from there now. And the other two systems have already nearly booted up. So this is the screen that you will see during the boot up. So and it says NIS workstation booting up. So after this screen, you will see uh, the physical inventory automatically happening. So <clears throat> we have to wait for a few seconds. So on the laptop, you can see it's loading the operating system through the uh, Pixie uh, via the NIS server. It takes a couple of seconds. So you see, this one is done. The first one is done. And you can see it's doing something on the top bar. And as soon as that finishes, you will see lots of information like all the components installed in the system on the screen. And at the bottom, you will see a big um, serial number and a countdown. And it's also telling you the 76 by 25 mm label has been sent to the printer. Okay, so going to the printer now, let's see. The printer has already printed these two labels. So one for GX520, and the other one is for 75 Optiplex 755. So that's done. Now, so just to give you a close up. Okay, now going to the laptop. Laptop is nearly there now. So it's booted up, it's doing the inventory. It's gonna show this exactly the same message as you've seen on the other side. So this is the serial number, all the components, and this label is automatically printed as well. So what we can do now, I can peel one label off from the um, adhesive sticker and take it off. So taking it off now, and I'm gonna put it onto the system, which is GX520. So just paste it there. And now you have a complete record of this system in the database and everything is written on the sticker as well. So the sticker has all the information like what's the size of the hard drive, you know, processor, RAM, and network card, does it have a webcam, and you know, DVD ROM drive, and all that kind of information is there, including the display adopter. So do the same thing with the laptop as well, taking the sticker off and then putting it on to the laptop itself so that is done now <clears throat> we have a barcode scanner uh, the 2d barcode scanner so going back to um, going back to the management console just give me one second uh, just to show you the close-up of the sticker now going back to uh, these systems you can see all the information is there and systems will automatically shut down. So you don't have to worry about the inventory items. So this is the barcode scanner that I was talking about. So with this scanner, I can simply scan the barcodes and manage my inventory very easily using the graphical user interface. So 
click on detailed reports and choose the date the start date and the end date and remember we we um, when we started the uh, job we um, typed in the inf initial information that information automatically appears here so these three systems are tied to customer a and this batch number that we inputted in the initial uh, form so you can see the report contains the information for these three systems because that's all we did underneath that customer so it has all the information hard drive the processor you know the external clock and you know the type of processor the socket type and ram and the onboard devices and so much information is there it's it's really hard for me to read all of that information you can go and check the wiki and that will explain what exactly is there so uh, we also have uh, the breakdown how many notebooks we have how many um, space saving you know desktops we have then breakdown by manufacturer if we had you know we only have Dell and Lenovo that's all we did if we had like Acer and other brands they would also appear here automatically and giving you complete breakdown by component level so I think this is all we did we just push the power button and all the information is there we didn't have to do anything so the, as I said there's no, no human intervention involved so going to brief reports brief reports has the same information but less information because um, uh, maybe you don't want to know about the onboard devices so you just want to know the basic information so that is there so going to the audit report if you click on audit report in the main menu and use the barcode scanner and simply scan uh, scan the um, that's what we did so we scanned it and you can see we have the complete audit report for that specific system you can export this information into your required format Excel XML or whatever now going to uh, the data charts that's very uh, useful information in there so select the dates as we did previously customer and the batch number and click submit and this gives you the complete breakdown in a graphical format so we have Dell Lenovo and all the other information uh, you know the sizes of hard drives and your level to cache and you know all that information if we just imagine if we had if we done like 200 systems this information would look really nice because we can see how many Dells we have how many 40 gig hard drives we have you know how many 8 gig DDR3 RAMs we have so all that okay now going to barcode labels if you click on barcode labels um, you can manage your inventory uh, by scanning uh, a specific number of um, barcodes or the inventory items and the report will show you information only for those the one you just scanned so you can see I'm gonna use my uh, barcode scanner to scan the first one so I scan this one that's done and now doing the other one that's also done and on the screen you can see I have only scanned two barcodes and they already appeared underneath now I can click submit and see what happens <clears throat> so I've clicked submit and I can see information only for those two that I've scanned if I would have scanned more let's say 50 or maybe 100 so that information would appear clicking on uh, the, the XLS thing I can see that the report has already been converted into Excel uh, format and downloaded I can open up that file into Excel and um, you know I can email it to the customer I can print it off or maybe you know do whatever I want to do with that specific file maybe delete some columns and you know add some other information and all that so as you can see there's a breakdown of information underneath as well how many Dells we have how many Lenovo's we have and you know all that thing if you want to print a barcode so click on the barcode on the right hand side and you can see you choose the barcode label size so in this case we have 7625 mm already installed in the barcode printer I've selected that and I'm gonna print again so click on print label and you can see it's already printed so if you want to reprint a barcode a different size label you can do it that way uh, because the inventory is already been done it's in the database